Hello guys and welcome to my first um, really uh, decent tutorial. Well, all the others have been decent, but they've been gimp code tips, and I'm sure you guys want something a bit um, a bit more than a minute to three minute tutorial. So I've decided to yabber on a bit, and um, we're going to be doing a really cool, easy, 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 easy technique today, and we're going to be changing eye color. So there are multiple ways you can do this. Um, but I'll be showing you my way that I like to do it in GIMP. Um, I am not a big fan of editing pictures um, in GIMP. I'd rather use something better, like Photoshop. But, but all those people out there who, who don't have Photoshop, GIMP is your number one to go. So, I don't use GIMP as much anymore, but um, I still do like making GIMP tutorials, and it just brings lots of... Um, joy to me when I hear people are enjoying my tutorials and are actually learning from them. Um, that's a really big thing for me. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Open, and you're going to open up the eye image I uh, found over on Wikipedia. I'll give you the link in the description. So this person has kindly donated their eye for um, use of um, learning anyway so what we want to do we want to get on a clips tool here we also want to make a brand new layer and we're just going to start off by dragging a circle out here so make sure you do not have a fixed aspect ratio just we want to um, edit ourselves and what we want to do we want to just make a selection around a very main proportion of the uh, iris here we got here so the iris is the colored part of your eye if you didn't know what I meant when I said iris that's what I mean it doesn't matter if you go up here that we've always got the eraser tool I think that's a pretty good selection so what we want to do then is we want to fill this in or if you're into the whole multicolor eye you can simply um, fill this in with different colors and split it with selections and stuff that would be really cool um, so that's maybe a future project for me but but I just want to fill it in with this nice red and the um, HTML notation is DO4242 it's a nice red um, since the eyes are blue I just chose an opposite color and we're just gonna fill this in voila bingo um, Command or Control Shift A to deselect, or you can go to select. Select them. Yeah. Anyway, so next thing we want to do, we need to patch this up. And since I didn't feather the selection, we are going to have to do a blur just to smooth it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the layer mode to color. Voila! The person now has a red eye. But it's looking very sloppy here, as you can see. We've got a really ugly bit right here, and an ugly bit up here. So, first order of business is we're going to get our scale tool, and we're going to scale this up so it covers all that blur. Something like... So, that, that'll do. We can always um, edit it at a later date. That's nice. So then we're going to grab our eraser tool and we're just going to start erasing with a very soft brush. I've got a soft brush here. The size around 300 pixels. I'm just going to softly remove those really harsh, horrible edges that we got going here. Also down here, there's a red lip here. We do not want that. We want it inside. Like so. Also, we need to also go to filters, blur, gaussian blur, and we're gonna blur around like 10 pixels. And if you're using a reasonably large image, then you're gonna blur it a bit more than that. As you can see, I've still got a bit of blue here. So I'm gonna go over to my eyes here. Sorry. And I'm gonna go to color curves. Just gonna 
edit the curves of my eye a bit. Just to bring in some more contrast and stuff. That's not looking too good. We want those shadows like that. Basically, you really just want to mess around with it, with your curves. So we're just lowering those so they look uh, a bit nicer. Um, in fact, what I might do is I might blur this again. Looking better. The edges are a lot smoother now. Um, so there. And the final step is we're just going to merge down. And then we're going to go to colors, curves, and from there we can do some really, really cool editing. Um, You can raise the glow of that red. Something like that. That's really nice. Um, so thank you very, very, very much for watching this tutorial. And I hope you learned something about um, changing eye colours very simply. And if this was on a bigger scale, then we would happily zoom out. But I can't really because this is here we go. Bigger scale, those small edits that you can make are just simple, like touching up there and here and stuff. So there we go, that's how to change eye colour in GIMP. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in my next tutorial.